Okay, hi, I'm Patricia George. Uh, I grew up in Chicago, Illinois in the U.S. And my father, he's from Nigeria, and my mother, she's from Venezuela, so I kind of have a unique. Um, I started playing soccer when I was about four or five, as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad, he, I grew up, my dad grew uh, coached me as I grew up and I went and played in college at the University of Illinois for four years and graduated and got my graduates in uh, sports management and then uh, I signed my first professional contract about a year later in Germany uh, for Kloppenberg there in the second league there and then that's when Corona happened so I only got to play about two games with them and got an opportunity to play for SC Sen which they're in the first league in the Bundesliga in Germany so now I'm with them for two years now. So I'm from Manicha in a number state my dad grew up in well he's from Lagos and grew up in River State. Uh, it was a very easy choice for me just because I grew up watching my sister run for Nigeria she ran in the 2012 Olympics. Uh, she ran the 400 meters, so I mean, just seeing that, seeing her represent the country, um, I think it was like an honor for her. So I wanted to do the same thing, but of course for soccer because I wasn't gonna run track. But yeah. Um, well, first I, I like either side. I don't prefer either side. Uh, I use both feet, but. I think I'm naturally talented as a outside back, right or left, whichever side. Um, just because I think I get the most space out there and I'm able to use and run at people with my speed. So yeah, I think I would prefer that if. Um, it's definitely not going to be easy. Uh, Nigeria has a lot of talent and you know I have to compete with that talent. Um, but. I've grown up competing for spots on teams all my life, so I think it's something that I can rise to the occasion and, you know, compete for that spot, but it'll also make me better as a player. Um, I would say my dad is just because he, uh, he coached me my whole life. I mean, he still coaches me I, after every game. I always contact him. I'm like, did you watch my game? Like, what did I do good? What did I do wrong? You know, so, I mean, I'm always looking to him for what I can do better on the field. He's always, like, been my mentor and still is. Uh, well, yeah, I've tried a lot of dishes, like, from when I was younger. Uh, Chicago, they have a big Nigerian population there, so there's a lot of Nigerian restaurants. Um, I've tried okra, ugosi soup. Um, my favorite, I would say, is just uh, jollof rice with, you know, the stew and goat meat. Uh, that's my go-to with plantains on the side. Um, I, I wouldn't say I have a best pal on the team. Uh, I get along with everybody right now. So um, my toughest opponent, I that's a hard one also just because, you know, the team is just very talented and everybody is very competitive. We have a lot of skill on the team, so I mean it's hard to choose just between one or two players. Yeah, my injury, it was sad that I got injured. Um, it was right before the U.S. camp, so I mean that was like very depressing for me because I would have got to go back to the U.S. and my family there would have been able to watch me play, but um, I just had to stay positive and you know I had teammates in Germany that had my back uh, I got to go back home to my family you know they're really supportive so you know I just had to like stick through it and just know like this isn't the end of the world I'm gonna be back on the pitch you know and continue playing so yeah but I'm back now and I'm ready <laughs> um, yeah it's hard right now for us because uh, we were in this position again last year so it's kind of sad to see us put ourselves back in this same position um, right now like at trainings we I would say we're doing really well at trainings you know we connect well it's just something about once we get into the games I think we need to find the composure and the confidence to know that we can compete against these teams because we can we have the talent on the team and so I have no doubt about that but 
we just need to find that confidence that we don't bring to the games. I mean, it's it's great for me. Um, I think a lot of it, like a lot of people like to talk about my athleticism from what I understand. You know, I'm still trying to figure out the German language. But I mean, I think it's great. It's um, also just a nice transition to, you know, going to German soccer. I think I fit in well there, but yeah. Uh, I think I was born ready for African football, to be honest. Um, you know, I know everybody on this team is fast, they're strong, and I, my dad taught me, like, he, I grew up and he taught me to, you know, use my speed on the field and, you know, use my strength. So I think I can fit in well with the African football, but it's also going to be a challenge, but, you know, I'm taking it on well. Honestly, that is a hard question. I, I'm not sure. Um, football is like, it's always been in my mind since I was younger, like ever since I started playing. Like that's the only thing that's been in my mind. Like I want to play, I want to continue and keep on playing. And now I'm living my dream. I'm, prof I'm a professional, so I'm not sure. That's a hard question. I really have to think about that. I'll be honest, I didn't know much about the team. I've, like, I've of course, watched games and, you know, I was really impressed with uh, Sisa or Dega, you know, how they use their speed. I'm usually play on the forward line, so, I mean, I watched them a lot, you know, just to see, like, what they were doing to be so successful um, playing with the national team. Uh, yeah, I think the team will do great. Um, also, Coach Randy, he's bringing in a lot of, you know, uh, things that are helping the team to progress, you know, with his ta tactics and just um, making the Super, Super Falcons um, more professional, you know, with the things that he's doing. So uh, we have a great chance. We have a lot of talent on the team skills. So, yeah, we will do great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, just hearing from how the girls felt about playing against Ghana, I know, you know, this game is going to be difficult, um, especially with the heat and everything. But uh, I think that we uh, can't, will come out and we'll be able to compete, especially with this training camp that we're doing here now. Um, it's setting us up to win the game, of course. Uh, Coach Randy, he's doing a lot of tactics with us and making sure that we're going to come out strong and know where exactly we should be on the field and how we're going to play against them. So, yeah. All right, then. That's it. A wrap. Uh, thank you so much, Patricia, for your time. I wish you all the best with the Super Falcons. Thank you.